Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji Split and this is a different type of video. Today I'm only going to look at what is in the store right now and what you really should consider. So we have a lot of premium tanks in the store at the moment. In fact there are 10. So we're not going to look at all 10. I'm going to drop the TOG 2 out and I'm not going to look at the Chimera because I've looked at those before. But what we have got, we've got certain premiums in certain tiers that are going for gold and certain premiums in other tiers that are going for cash. So we're going to look at the gold ones first rather than the cash ones. Now, as I said, I'm going to avoid doing the TOG 2 because I've done videos on the TOG 2 before and I'm going to avoid doing the Chimera because I've just done its standalone review. So first off the bat, we have the IS-6. This is the mainstay heavy tank in tier eight. It, I think it was the first medium, uh, sorry, the first premium tank that came out way back in 2014. It was certainly the first premium tank that I managed to get my paws on. And it's a pretty much a bit of a mainstay. It sits actually within the tech tree. Well, actually it's not in the tech tree, it's just above the tech tree. And it's always been a premium. Now it's going for 5,500 gold. If you don't have the IS-6, okay, it's been power creeped quite a lot, I must admit. I mean, there are better tanks in its tier around it. Think of the Object 252U, for example. But this is still a pretty nice tank. It has two guns. One has better penetration values than the other, although it does have a longer reload and it's not a bad credit earner and for 5500 gold if you don't have it it is worth the consideration because it's just one of those mainstay tanks the thing is you know it's always going to be just floating above the tech tree this one's just coming with all the equipment unlocked etc etc so it's actually not a bad price it's, it's pretty much of a bargain and like i said if you don't have it it's worth a look, it really is, especially for 5,500 gold with additional camo, etc, etc, and all those equipment slots unlocked. Next up, we've got the first of uh, two bundles, because there are two bundle tanks. The first one is the AT-15A and the ISU-122 together. I'm not going to review them independently, but you can get the AT-15A on its own. Now, the thing is, on its own, it so it's going to set you back 5,000 gold with all the bells and whistles again. But if you get it as the pack, it's only 7,500 gold. Which I think is a bargain because if you get both of them together for the 7,500 bundle, you get all nine equipment slots unlocked. Now, these are two pretty nice tier 7 TDs, to be fair. The AT-15A is really, really quick firing. In fact, it's a monster of a tank. Heavily armoured, okay, it's slow, but it's got heavy armour, and it's, it's, it's just formidable. And the DPM on that thing is just crazy, crazy. The ISU um, 122S is also a very nice little tank. And if you like the, uh, the SU series of TDs, then the ISU 122S is a good addition to your garage. I mean, I like the ISU 122S. I think it's a very nice tank. And it comes in that traditional type camo. Again, I mean, if, you, if you're not interested in it, then fine. But for, this, for the sake of, you know, 2,500 gold, you get two pretty decent tier 7 tank destroyers. I mean, that's a fantastic price. I really think it is, especially when you consider the AT-15A alone, on its own, just that tank is going to set you back 5,000 gold. So at the moment, in the store, you can get the IS-6 for 5,500. You can get the TOG-2, which I recommend everybody should get for 2,500. Why? Because it's just a funny tank. It's just, you know, having a TOG is just a giggle. And if, if you like to have a good laugh every now and then, a TOG is just one way to do it. I mean, I think it's a beautiful little tank. Then you've got the AT-15A plus ISU-122S bundle for 7,500 and the AT-15A on its own for 5,000. In theory, you can get basically four tanks for less than 20,000 gold, which, you know, is a bargain. But you can get them individually, like I said. If you're not interested in the IS-6 and the TOG-2, which is understandable, 
I would still recommend looking at the AT15A and ISU122S. Moving on to those tanks that you can buy. Now, I'll deal with the Chimera later because I, it was part of a separate review. So let's have a look at the bundle first, which is called Iron and Ice. Now, this is basically the Vickers light tank and the Tetrak, both tier two tanks. And at the moment, you're watching me going out in the light Vickers uh, tank, which is a, a tier two. Now, it's a nice little tank. This, this has been in the game for a long time. It came around a long time ago. I think it was a free tank given to people for nothing, along with the Tetrak. And it's, it's, it's a fun little tank. However, if you don't play, a t if you're not a tank collector or you don't play a uh, tier two or the low tiers that often, then it's really not good for you, is it? Um, simple as that. If you're just starting the game, however, or you're, a, you're, in, you're a brand new player, this one is worth the look. I mean, for $3, you're getting two nice tier two light tanks, effectively. I mean, this one has got a, a four clip Relo or, uh, reload auto loader. It's a nice little British tank. Doesn't dish out shed loads of damage as you can see, but it's a good little fun tank to roll around in. And for a dollar fifty, who can you know? You can't go wrong, to be honest with you. And as I said, it comes part of a package. The second part being this little Russian tier two, the Tetrak, which again is a nice little tank. It's a good little mover. It's a squat little thing. I, I think this this was an airborne tank in real life, and it's 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 a funny little tank to play. It's got a decent gun. It dishes out decent damage. Okay, the reload for tier two seems a little bit long, but it's a beautiful little tank. And for the sake of a dollar fifty, because if you you know three dollars for both of them, they're worth a look, especially if you're a tank collector or you're a new player just starting out. I would certainly recommend giving this one a look, because you know it, they're, they're fun little tanks to go back to and have a roll around with. Next we have the Churchill Three, which is currently in the store for approximately four dollars. Now it's a Churchill basically. And it's like all the other type of Churchills. It's got good DPM, fast firing gun, low damage output, a bit of trolley armor, and again, it's very slow maneuverability wise. I mean, it's a Churchill, guys, but it's a nice little tank again. And if you like those, those series of tanks, then the Churchill is one to look at. It's a good collection to the whole overall Churchill series. I mean, what have you got? You've got the Churchill one, the Churchill seven. Oh, there's so many Churchills. And this is just a nice addition. At the moment, like it, it's going for approximately $4. So again, if you don't have this tank and it's a nice little tier five heavy tank, then it's worth having a look. It's a good little credit owner as well. Now, jumping up a fair few tiers, we're gonna look at the T55A, which is a tier nine medium tank. And boy, what a tank. I mean, it's a lovely little tank. It's similar realistically to the T-54, a little bit sluggish, but I like it. I mean, it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's a nice, nice tank. It's got fantastic hull, uh, sorry, turret armor. Stick this thing hull down and it's good. The gun handling is not too bad for a Chinese tank, oddly enough. I mean, you know, Chinese tanks are normally notorious for bad gun handling. This one is not too bad at all. And it's a tier nine. And at the moment, you can get it in two packages. You can either get it fully loaded with all the equipment unlocked, the avatar and all that sort of jazz for approximately $20. If you don't want the equipment unlocked and all the other pizzazz, then you can get it for $15, which isn't bad considering the other premium tank um, in, in the list, of the, the, in the upper tiers, which is the tier eight Chimera, is gonna cost you around $45 if you want it with all the equipment unlocked or $40 if you don't. So if you've got some spare cash, whilst it's tempting to get that Chimera, if you have got some spare cash in the realms of like 40 odd dollars, then I would strongly urge you to consider giving the T55A a look at, at tier nine because you know, tier eight is filled with premiums. You're never gonna miss out on a tier eight. I mean, for example, if you've got that much cash to spend, guys, you can get the IS-6, a tier eight heavy, for 5,500 gold, followed by the T55A, a tier nine, and that's still gonna be cheaper than getting the Chimera. 
in real terms. Anyway, those are the tanks that are currently in the store. Uh, I hope that's been useful. By all means, you know, comment and all the other stuff below. Please press like, it's a nice thing to do. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, you can do that also. That's also a nice thing to do. I've been Fujit, and that has been a quick look at what's in the store. By all means, send me your replays and anything else to fujitsblitz at gmail.com or jump onto my Discord server and post things there. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.